Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna talk all around getting Windows ready for GPU mining. Maybe you're just getting into mining, you're on your gaming PC. This will help you really optimize your setup for GPU mining, or maybe you have a rig or two on Windows. These tips might help you be more effective in your workflow. So stay tuned, we're gonna go over some of the tips that I've used over the years to get Windows ready for mining. All right, so we're over in Windows. You see my desktop here. And one of the first things I wanna go over is how to get Windows to automatically log in. Just in case your rig were to restart or something and you're away, you want it to auto log in first so your miners can start again. So in order to do that, we're gonna go over to the registry editor. We'll open that up. And the path that you need to go to is H key local machine. And then you're gonna go down to software and then you're gonna go down to Microsoft, and then you're gonna go all the way down to Windows NT, current version, and then from there, you're gonna go all the way down to Win Logon. And in here, you need to create some strings. So we're gonna go to Edit, New String Value, and the first one we're gonna create is gonna be called Default Username. And in here, we're gonna double click it, and we're gonna put in the value data, and this is gonna be your username for your account on your PC. Mine is called Red Fox, so we're gonna name it that. The next thing we need to do is give it a password to use. So again, edit, we're gonna to go to new, we're gonna go over string value, and we're gonna call this one default password, all one word. And then we're gonna double click that, and we're gonna enter in the default password. Mine is Red Fox, don't hack me. Okay, now we need to tell it to auto login. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna go to edit again and we're gonna say new and we're gonna create another string value and we're gonna call this one auto admin logon. Hit enter, go in here and we're gonna change the value data to number one. And we're gonna hit okay. And now I'm gonna give this a restart and we're gonna see if it auto logs me in. Let's do it. All right, there it is. Windows auto logged me in after making those changes. Okay, so next we're gonna work on making sure that our miner automatically starts when I'm auto logged in. So in order to do that, we're gonna go over to run and we're gonna run what you see here is task scheduler.msc. So we're gonna go ahead and run that and it's gonna bring us to this task scheduler. And in here we're gonna go task schedule library. We're gonna create a new task. And we're gonna name this task T-Rex because I'm gonna be wanting to auto start T-Rex miner in administrator mode to take advantage of lock core clock. And what I have to make sure I do is run it with the highest privileges and then obviously configure this for Windows 10, which is what I'm using here. Next, we're gonna go over to actions and we're gonna create a new action. And here we want to start a program and we need to enter some data here and we're gonna do uh, percent sign win direct percent sign slash system 32 slash cmd dot exe. Then we're gonna add some arguments here and the argument's gonna be slash c start and the name of my action here, which is T-Rex. And now I need to put the file path to the batch file for T-Rex miner that I want it to launch. And in this case, I'm mining Ravencoin on this rig. So I'm gonna get the location of that batch file here. I'm gonna copy that, throw it in. I do need to put parentheses around it since I have a space in my username. And then at the end of this, I need to add the batch file, which is two, uh, which is RVN dash two miners and end quotations. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And then the other thing you might wanna do is if you are on a laptop or battery powered computer, um, you're gonna wanna make some adjustments here to power. I am not, this is gonna be on a mining rig, so I'm not gonna change anything there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay on that. And now I need to create a shortcut on my, I'm just gonna do it on my desktop, new shortcut. And the name I need to type here is SCH TAS slash run slash TN, and then the name of that task, which is T-Rex. 
I'm gonna hit next, type a name for that shortcut, T-Rex, hit finish. Now I need to take, I'm gonna make sure it works. I'm gonna double click it and this should open up T-Rex Miner, which it does, runs it in administrator mode. So I know that my task is good. What I did is right. And now I just need to make sure I add this to launch at startup. So I'm gonna hit Command R on my key, or Windows R on my keyboard, and I'm gonna launch shell colon startup. And anything I put in this folder is gonna launch a startup. So I'm just gonna drag my shortcut over there, and we're gonna give this a reboot, watch it auto log in, and then watch T Rex Miner start mining at startup. And there it is, the miner launch, and that is off and mining. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is uh, adjust the virtual memory of Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on start button. We're gonna go over to settings, and then we're gonna type in performance. And we're gonna go to adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go to over to advanced, click virtual memory, and we're gonna go to change. Now let's talk about virtual memory for a second. You need to adjust this but it's dependent on the GPUs that you have and the cryptocurrency that you are mining. Let's talk Ethereum. For Ethereum, you want to have your virtual memory size in total be the total amount of VRAM of the GPUs on your mining rig plus an additional four gigabytes. So if you had six cards with each have eight gigabytes of VRAM, you're gonna do eight plus eight plus eight plus eight plus eight plus eight plus four, get that total gigabyte size, convert it over to megabytes, and that is what you would enter in your custom size in the virtual memory pane. For me, I'm mining Ravencoin on this rig of RTX 3060s. I was able to get away with just doing four gigabytes of VRAM, even though they're 12 gigabyte cards, four gigabytes of VRAM per card, plus an additional four for Windows in the virtual memory and I can mine just fine. If you don't get this right, what's gonna happen is your miner is just gonna give you an error when you start it up. Uh, so find the value that works for you and know that that will take some storage out of your hard drive to create that virtual memory. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna look at is gonna be the power settings. And let's type power into the start menu search bar, power and sleep settings come up. And we're gonna go down and we're gonna go to additional power settings and we're gonna go for high performance is what we wanna change to. And if you go to change plan settings, what you see it's doing is putting the computer to sleep never. That is what you want because if you don't do that, and I am victim of this many times, you're gonna go nuts trying to figure out why the machine stops mining every 30 minutes or every hour or whenever it goes to sleep. And that has absolutely happened to me many times over the years and I always forget to change this setting. So that's it guys, those are the things that I like to adjust in Windows for GPU mining. I highly recommend though that you find a great all-in-one mining software solution. I personally use Awesome Miner, I've used it for many years, I'll leave a link to it in the description below, or you can go to a full mining operating system like HiveOS in Linux, but maybe you're just mining at home, getting started on your PC, these are some adjustments that you can make to just get you mining more efficiently. I know there are many other things that you can adjust in Windows, such as software updates and uh, animations and all that kind of stuff. You can let me know all that in the comments section down below. But these are the things that have worked for me for the last several years. Hope this video was helpful for you. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Jump in my Discord if you wanna chat. The link is in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself. Take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.